Okay, so today I'm showing off the super simple basalt generator. Uh, let's just jump straight into it. So the idea behind this uh, basalt farm is essentially to make the cheapest basalt farm, um, which is still fully automatic and still quite fast whilst using as few uh, expensive resources as possible. So I'll just switch the farm on now and you'll kind of see how it works. So the idea is you've got two basalt generators on the side here and a little piston feed tape here powered by this clock and a TNT duper in the middle. Obviously the idea is the basalt gets pushed to the middle, TNT turns it into item form and then it's just a collection system down here. Um, at the moment I would say you're better off just standing here and picking up the items. Uh, it's far too fast for a hopper to manage. Um, I'll show you some tips later in the survival. So I'll just quickly turn that off for a minute and we'll see just how many items we got in that. Short space of time of, of basically me rambling. Uh, we'll see. It takes a little while for the TNT duper to stop. And you'll see we have, I mean, all that basalt in the short time I've been talking for. Um, so essentially these are going to be the items you'll need. You'll need like four stacks of blocks, but if you're building this in survival, you can actually use even fewer blocks than this. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute and some little tips as well. Uh, you'll need two water buckets uh, just for the making the infinite water sources uh, for the collection area and then this top part here is for the timer circuit and TNT duper. So you'll need a couple of sticky pistons, uh, some moss blocks or any non-sticky blocks so pumpkins, melons, uh, obsidian, droppers, whatever you can you can use that instead. Uh, nine slime blocks, uh, a dead coral fan of some kind, um, any type of wall, uh, TNT, data trail, minecart, a little bit of redstone, four repeaters, uh, an observer, a lever, you need two signs, any signs will do, same with the fence gates, any type, and uh, same with the trap door as well. And then each of these is for each of the modules, so if you're a little low on resources you can just build one side of a basalt generator, uh, so you need some sticky pistons, some pistons to push them around, uh, blue ice, soul soil, lava, uh, some repeaters, some redstone, uh, actually that's only one torch uh, for each one, and an observer. So essentially these materials should be fairly easy to get early on in the game. Probably the hardest thing would be is to get the slime and then you'll also need a silk touch in order to pick up the coral fan. But that's uh, essentially all there is to it. So let's quickly show what I would do if you were building this in survival. Um, I'm not going to show you building this uh, today. Um, I'll put a like Matica and a world download in the description so you can just go check that out instead. Um, but if you're building this in survival, what I would do is probably build the timer circuit here on the floor and then build yourself up a little torch tower so you can operate it from, from down below essentially so you have to keep coming all the way up here uh, to power it. And then once again you can reduce the number of blocks by just essentially building it in any sort of flat area. Um, so I advise you use this farm is essentially just, if you're on the ground here, just turn it on, let the machine go. And then what I've done here is I've just literally dug uh, a hole here and then you can just stand here and wait for the uh, basalt to arrive at you. You can see here you watch my inventory uh, fill up with uh, basalt. And it goes about, yeah, so it fills your inventory in about, I'd say two or three minutes. Um, shouldn't take long once it gets going. Um, obviously the longer the farm goes on, it'll start to get into its steady state. But yeah, that's all I've really got to show you today. Um, links below and yeah, yes, let me know if you can build it. Any questions, uh, go ask. Cheers.